11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. We begin with breaking news right now in Fulton County, where officials say multiple people have been stabbed inside the jail. And we now know that at least one person is dead. We want to get right out to Cody Alcorn. He is live outside the jail now. Cody, we've seen a lot of deaths coming out of this jail. What can you tell us about this one? Well, this is the fifth death this month. We've had an inmate die every single week the month of August. This is the second inmate to die since Saturday. What we can confirm is that one inmate is dead. Two others rushed to Grady Hospital after a stabbing here behind me at the Rice Street Jail. We have some video from our chopper. You can see those ambulances outside the Fulton County Jail transporting at least one of those victims there. Again, we know two other ones taken to the hospital. We don't have any information as far as where this happened inside the jail or any details about who these three inmates are and why they were locked up. I did ask the Fulton County Sheriff's Office the sheriff was going to make himself available to talk about this latest act of inside his facility. I was told no as of right now, but if that changes, they were going to let us know. Of course, this is uh, on the heels of a Department of Justice civil rights investigation that was launched on July 13th. Now, again, this makes the fifth death since August uh, announcing that investigation. So there's got to be a lot of eyes on this facility as there have been for months and years. I know earlier this week I was out here talking about jail overcrowding. As of the beginning of the week, they had about 300 more inmates inside this facility than they do beds. So again, we're going to get more information on who this individual was who was stabbed and the update on those other two who were rushed to the hospital. Cody, thank you so much for hustling down there and bringing us the latest. And you can actually stay with 11 Alive for the latest breaking details of this story and others by downloading the 11 Alive News app. All you have to do to do that is scan that QR code you see on that, your screen. You can download it for free in your app store.